reviewing this SEO plugin tools that can help you to expedite your on-page optimization process. They are more specific on looking for an external and internal links. Well, they do have a lot of features, but this is their main features that I really love the most. So what's this tool all about? From it right itself, it's called linked whisper. Now I'm going to cover a pros and cons and the overall experience of this tool. All right, guys, so we will dial into its individual features and I'm going to discuss the pros and cons and based on my experience. And yeah, by the way, guys, the Link Twisper has a free version, but if you are really concerned of making your on-page optimization process and making everything right, then I highly suggest to open to their yearly plan. They all, I think their yearly plan is $77 per year and you can use my coupon code BookfirmHead to get a $15 discount. And what I really like about Link Whisper as well is, let's say you have made changes during your subscription and then you cancel your plan next year. So all of the changes that you did will not be lost, even though you canceled your plan. That's really a good deal for me. And like, I don't have any uh, plan right now to cancel the, the Link Whisper because it really saved me, let's it really saved almost 80% of my time doing on-page optimization. But just in case you, you just want to do it in one time, then you can open to one year and then open out next year. But I don't think so. You will cancel your plan. Anyway, so let's start with the reports process. Now, what I really like about Linked Whisper is their report is real time. So you can see all of the stats. It's not just about the reports about the broken links, but you can see all of the like link founds, numbers, of internal and external links and whatsoever so that's the pros and unlike with other like tools let's say let's use google webmaster when you submit your changes or your sitemap into google mass google webmaster you really can see all of the changes in real time you need to wait for at least a week to see all of your changes which is a bit bummer compared to link whisper so in link whisper when you make changes and then you um scan your website which is this one you click this button in here um, the changes or the report is real time okay now the cons with this one is if you don't have anything in your website yet like it's a fresh website then you cannot really use this potentially but it's a good start for you to see what are the errors so this features in link whisper is really great for an existing website this tool is really great if you have an existing website especially if you have a lot of blog and content onto your website Okay, now let's dive into the other feature that I really like, which is so-called um, internal and external links. And I'm going to go into the post scrolled in here. So if you click the post scrolled in here, you will see all of the intern all of the pages that has internal and external links. Okay, and then in this part here, you can filter um, some post type, this one, and this one like if you want to if you just want to see the outbound in, and inbound like inbound and external links you can also do that now you click the search there what i really like about this is let's say if you want to add something on your on your pages or blog post link this to this one but i want to add some of the praise so if you want to add or remove something on your on the keyword simply highlight that or like that if you want to remove it. So that's how easy it is. So let's say I'm gonna remove that, I'm gonna highlight this one, and then I'm gonna um, click this one and click the add inbound or add insert links into a post. So that's how it works. And then you can also um, edit that, like you click the edit sentence. So instead of just um, going to the page itself, which is a bit, kind of pain if you're using DV. So instead of editing there, you can straightly change your text in here, which is super cool. So that's how it works for that. And I think this is super beneficial for us in terms of um, podcasts. So on our podcast, we have some few transcript in here, like this one, let me double check that. So we have this transcript and um, like this one is too much for me to read everything. So if you go to the linked whisper, um, to the post itself and go to the 
bottom part here, Linked Whisper is providing some few suggestions that you can um, use in order. So for example, this, this one, or Baby Boomers, so this one, Baby Boomers, you can add that, this part, because we also have a podcast about this, so you can add that into the um, post itself. So you don't need to, um, I mean, this one, I would say this one is too much to read for me, right? It's too much for me to read. And Link Whisper helped me to um, look for the keyword that is um, that has a good opportunity to link to, to other or to, to link to a relevant podcast. So yeah, that's why this one is super um, great for us. Okay. Now let's dive into the other part of the linked whisper. So other features of linked whisper. Again, the disadvantage of this is if you don't have much content in your pages, then there's nothing to link. <laughs> so that's the disadvantage for um, using linked whisper. Now for the broken links here, um, what I really liked about link whisper um, report is it's, it's not only giving you the um, 404 found, but it's also giving you the other links or unhealthy links that needs to be removed or unlinked to your pages. So it gives you not just a 404, but also a known error, server not found, connection failed, and so whatever. So let's say like this one has an extern internal links. So I'm going to click the edit there. And then what I'm going to do is click this one. And I'm going to click the text and then control left. And I'll just remove this word. So that's a good thing about that. Then I'm going to click the edit. Paste that one over here, just for the backup. And then as I always, like it's not just about a 404 errors, guys. They're also providing you a content failed issue. So like I don't think like this one is a, a website from our guests. So we don't want to link to a, an unstable external links because that increase some bounce rate some sort of like that so instead of just putting that I will just remove this one I'm gonna remove that and click the update so that's the advantage of um, error report of link whisper and you can also export this one to excel file or csv and yeah, so after you make changes, again, as always, it is super easy for you to see the real-time changes or real-time report of Link Whisper. But it, so after you've done all the changes, you can just click the scan to, um, to see the updated report. So the disadvantage of this is it might take long if your website or your post is big or if you have a lot of pages or posts, it may take a lot of time. So you need to wait so that's really the disadvantage of that. Otherwise, I am very contented of the broken link report of Link Whisper. And they also have, um, all right, so the reports are already finished. Um, click that one. And then let's dive into the other features of Link Whisper, which is the auto linking. I really love this one because it helps me to link our main keyword to our relevant pages and posts. Yeah, so what I did in here is I put all of our keywords and all of our LSI keywords together are keywords that so auto linking is um, you can come up with this one. So you have these settings in here. If you want to set a priority insertion of this specific keyword, there's also other options in here. If you want only to restrict the auto linking um, on a specific category of your posts or of your pages, that's also possible. And I think this is very beneficial, especially if you don't want to add a lot of keywords into your landing pages. So I really like that. Uh, and yeah, it has this a lot of options in here. So only add links to post published after a given date. Um, like you can just play around in this sections as well. And then for the keyword, let's say um, we will come up with a keyword of podcast. I'm going to put in um, influencer marketing podcast. So let's say that's our keyword. You put your, your link there and click the auto link rule and then you will see in here like how many pages are linking to this um 
keywords. So for the brand partnership, if you think this is too much, you can remove them by clicking the edit section. I mean, if 29 links is too much for the specific keywords, you can remove them. So that's really like, it's, it's very easy for you to just identify and remove everything that is not relevant or um, too much for um, too much link juices, I would say. So, yeah. And then um, we can also, let's dive into the other. Okay, and the disadvantage of this again is um, you need to use an external tools to find what is a winnable keyword, so to speak. So the link whisper doesn't have you an options to see um, the monthly search of this specific keyword. So you need to use an external tool for that like um, Google Keyword Planner, Google Trends, or whatsoever. So yeah, but so far, like if you already have a solid list of your keywords, um, this is very helpful for you to help your website SEO friendly, not just for the Google Spider, but also to your visitors, okay? Now let's dive into the target keywords. Now for the target keywords, this is somewhat, um, it has this feature similar with the Yoast, but at the same time more on SEMrush thing because you have an options in here. Like you have, let's say act, your active keyword, you haven't set your active keywords there. Um, you, have, um, you have an analytics. So unlike SEO Yoast or Yoast plugin, it doesn't give you this average position report and clicks. So this is a combination, guys, of Yoast and SEMrush. So you don't need to purchase the SEMrush to see if your keyword is ranking on a specific page of yours. And yeah, right now I need to set this up. I need to come up with a keyword for this, active keywords for this. And then so I know like where we are right now. So like are we getting clicks because of these keywords? So this is something that we need to work on. And I would say this one is my most favorite part of Link Whisper because SEMrush is a bit expensive in terms of um, looking for reports of keywords. But again, I really love SEMrush as well. I'm advocate of SEMrush. So now let's dive into the URL changer. Now URL changer is super important if you have made changes into your website. So let's say you have a PDF. Okay, you have a PDF and then um, you updated your PDF. So in WordPress, it's not similar in Google Drive where if you update your changes, it will just override. The link is just the same, but the PDF or the content will just override the old, you know, content. The WordPress is different. It will generate a different link once you updated your PDF. And that's where the link changes comes in. It will um, save you a lot of time on updating those old URL to the new one because it has these features here where your old URL can be override to a new URL using this feature. And yeah, this is super important guys for ebooks and a lot of content. So on the settings area, um, yeah, you also have other sections in here if you want to ignore some phrases into your link whisper like this one. This one is, um, I would say proposition or something like that. Um, like are like this um, Google preferred some nouns keyword and then this one as well like we don't want to link certain links to the attachment so um, you can disable some part in here so especially for the landing pages or projects like I don't want to have an external and external link for our case studies so just you can disable that one and then for the terms types as well um, it's we're not just limited for the custom post type, but also for the um, tags, which is super cool. And like this one, like I just want to um, create links for the publish and then let them un let a link for the private and featured one. Number of skip. This is super important. These are the corresponding instructions and information about this feature. And yeah, again, um, if you think this is beneficial for you guys, you can use my coupon code book from head to get $15 discount. Again, this is $77 per year. Um, yeah, if they're really into SEO thing, I think you would love this tool a lot.